just a few closing words after a after a long day. So the the recordings of all the talks and the slides they should go on the website. It's going to take a few days to get the talks, uh, the video um, edited. So, but if you look by the end of next week on the website, hopefully all the links will be there. So just take a look for that. Um, thank you to the Industrial Maths KTN for funding doing that because we had to pay extra to get that done for us. So that was a, a brilliant thing. So if you've got friends and colleagues who couldn't make it, point them to this so they can at least get the, the benefit even though they, they couldn't be here. Um, some other things coming up that you might be interested in, there is, I mentioned this earlier on, there's a new OpenCL user group that we've just created, a whole bunch of users. Um, most of the OpenCL stuff had been driven by vendors up to now, but there was a bunch of us who got together and said, we'd actually like our own user group. Um, so we've launched this uh, at Supercomputing just a couple of weeks ago. It's based on the OpenMP model, um, which was Compunity is the name of the OpenMP user group. So we have Comportability. So you can go to comportability.org. Um, the things you will eventually find there are there's some user forums, which are across all the vendors. Um, there's going to be lots of example code starting to get uploaded. Um, I'm going to put all of my OpenCL training course up on there for free, so you can download all the slides, all the example codes, etc. Um, and this has only been around for a couple of weeks, so there is very little on it yet, but we're starting to put things on. So go and have a look. If you've got anything you'd like to contribute, please do that. Um, if there's any questions you'd like to start asking about OpenCL, go onto the forums and start asking them, and we'll try and answer them for you. And to go with that, we have uh, we've arranged an annual workshop, again modelled on the OpenMP approach, where you have IWOMP for OpenMP. So we've got IWOCKLE, which sounds a bit like something to do with the Scouts, but it isn't. Um, so that's actually going to be the first one next year, next May, um, at Georgia Tech. So the call for papers for that is out, in fact. And some of the people on the programme committee are in this room, including me, not just me, a few other people as well. So, so that's something you might all be interested in. And then the last thing to say is, what are we doing next year? So. Um, as you know, this is the fourth time we've run. We've been round all the four of us who run the conference. So we started in Oxford, then we went to Cambridge, then Imperial last year, this year Bristol. So we're going back to the beginning. We're going back to where it all started. So this time next year, we don't have the exact date yet, but about this time next year, we're going back to Oxford for the fifth uh, Minicore conference. So watch out for an announcement at some future date to say exactly what, uh, when that will be. So that's it. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you again to Mike, Paul and Graham who helped with all the hard work of looking through all of the submissions. We had 25 submissions and we accepted eight. So there's quite a few things to look through. Um, and for our sponsors who've helped get us this nice venue and venue and nice um, catering and things like that. Um, and that is it. So the, the uh, cafe and bar area is open. So while we have to exit here because there will actually be a showing later on. You could stay around and watch a movie in here this evening if you'd like. But um, if you want to carry on talking, we don't have to leave, but we can use the cafe and bar area. Um, but that's it. Thank you very much for coming. <laughs>